Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is School Career 101 and we're going to be talking about how to prepare for final examinations. So, I understand that it's so fun to do a lot of leisure activities. Uh, we all love to do a lot of leisure activities, playing computer games, uh, you name it. So, um, we all love to do um, many different things, but you know, sometimes you just uh, check the calendar and uh, only to realize that uh, you have an uh, final examination schedule and no matter how you try to ignore it you no know, matter how, what you do to ignore your final examinations uh, it's just really gets to gets into you it really bothers you and you have no choice but to uh, decide you have no choice but to uh, decide that you will do it but you are still stuck with a big question like you're probably asking yourself, how are you going to do it? Now, how will you prepare for an examination? And by the way, if you like the content of my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to School Career 101. So you decided to uh, to do the the preparation for your review, but you don't know where to start or how to start. And that is really a big question for everyone. How do you prepare? for the final examination well first of all you have to understand that we have different methods and not all will definitely work for each of us so we actually have different methods and different ways to study for the final examination so the first thing that you need to consider when preparing for final examinations is you need to gather all the learning materials and the review materials as much as possible you need to gather all the materials you have and you have to make sure that your materials are both reliable and accurate so that is also one thing that you need to consider when you are preparing for your final examinations you need to gather all the resources and make sure that the material that your teacher is using the material that your teacher is using is the same as the same as the material uh, that you have and at the same time you have to be more careful especially when the teacher or your professor or your instructor just asks you to do a research you have to be more careful about searching for information on the internet so you have to be more careful with that one too the next thing that you need to do after you got all the materials which is the first thing the next thing that you do is you need to strict schedule and enhance focus and avoid distractions this is the most difficult part when it comes to learning because it's so hard nowadays there's just a lot of distractions that is really happening you have the social media you have your cell phones but you know at the end of the day studying is just all about self-control if you can't control yourself with all the distract distractions that you're getting then you will really find hard in in learning and in studying so you need to set a specific time you need to strict to be strict with yourself that this specific time is only for for learning another thing is you need to you need to learn how to say no especially if you get invitation with friends you normally the, there are many different kinds of distra uh, distractions that is really happening in our lives you have to learn how to say no especially if you get an invitation with your friends and that and yet you have an upcoming final examinations so also remember you have to remember the the saying early bird catches the worm the the more early you study for your exam the better of chances of passing it because when it comes to learning time is really an important matter time is really important when it comes to learning you can't rush learning you have to remember that and the next thing that you'll have to remember after uh, having discipline to yourself is and it's setting up a right schedule is you also need to boost yourself because simply it's really difficult to it's so difficult to study if you don't like what you are doing have you have you done some things that you don't like doing it oftentimes the outcome would be like it won't be successful so uh, it won't be fruitful uh, the result won't be fruitful the the result won't be positive especially if you don't like what you are really doing so you have to boost your interest towards learning and you have to learn how to you need you need to love learning in the first place because that is very important and 
by by that there are actually a lot of things you can do um, the the best thing that you can do is to do a group study group study can really help you it, it is more engaging and it's not boring learning alone can be very boring and um, yeah it's uh, it's really it's uh, something that will really make you feel sleepy at the same time but if you try many different ways if you try to make efforts to boost your interest towards learning it can be interesting also and it would be very much effect effective don't just study for the sake of uh, for to as they say to get this over and done with so that is actually will not really create uh, a good effect to your learning another thing that you need to consider also is you need to find more creative ways for studying now what if your schedules get so so busy uh, what if you you have other important matters to do so you have to be more creative when it comes to learning for example we have um, now happening we have uh, this what we call as audio learning audio learning is very helpful especially if you are very busy uh, audio learning you can actually do audio learning whatever you do uh, even if you are walking your dog or you are working out in the gym or whatever it is that you're doing so um, audio learning really helps uh, because it makes learning convenient all you need is your cell phone now how do you get the facts to your cell phone so what you need to do is to to get that book and then record the important keywords key phrases the definition and terms and especially this is very helpful very helpful when it comes to when it comes to learning uh, when it comes to learning terms once again and it is also very helpful when you learn uh, when more most of your learning is actually memorization so this one is also very helpful another thing also that you can do is you, you just need to be more creative with your you need to be more creative with your stud with your studies and make it more convenient for you so that is also one thing that you need if you want me to make a, a video about some creative ways because there's a lot you can do uh, nowadays there's even an online platform that you can actually use as uh, as uh, making your learning into a form of a games but I highly uh, suggest to do that if you have the enough time because setting up your questionnaires you'll have to spend a lot of time setting up your questions so that can be can um, the preparation for that can take a, uh, a lot of time there's also another way there's uh, using it's very effective when it comes to memorization uh, you can also use flashcards so there's a lot of creative ways for studying that will make once again go back to to the third one which is it will become more interesting for you and but the going back to the audio learning the only down, downside for this one which I will suggest to you because this is very convenient you're just going to record some of the important uh, keywords in your book but the only downside with this one if the lesson gets to be more visual like if it's um, if it's like uh, like for example what are the examples of an abstract painting or every lesson gets to be more in visual memorization so this is not really helpful this is just only helpful when you, when you try to memorize a certain formula for mathematics or when you try to to memorize the atomic number of the periodic table of elements or geography lessons capital cities this kind of learning is very helpful and very useful so once again guys let me repeat to you some of the things that you need to do first thing when you are preparing for your final examinations you need to gather all your learning and review and study materials you need to have it with you also don't forget to consider that it must be reliable and accurate the second one is you need to discipline yourself strict schedules and enhance your focus and avoid distractions so you need to do that as much as possible then you also need to boost your interest towards learning another thing also is you need to find more creative ways for studying especially if times really get schedules if you are if you are studying and you're doing a part-time job at the same time so that would be very difficult for you you know we have a lot of working students who studies in the morning and works in the evening so you can actually do this it's very helpful for you and yeah that's it so guys this is school career 101 and uh, this is my YouTube channel 
um, if you're going to ask me about my credentials and what makes me what makes me a reliable person to give you this advice well I'm actually re connected to first of all I'm actually working as a school teacher and I'm connected to the I'm very much connected to the education field but uh, I'd like to remain that hidden or confident because the information is confidential I actually have a bachelor's degree and I'm a graduate and I'm working as a public school teacher so I'm really encouraging all the students to be part of my YouTube channel to subscribe to my YouTube channel because this is going to be the content of my YouTube channel I'm gonna be teaching to you a lot of school stuff that you can learn and uh, for the next video I'm actually pro I'm actually planning to make actually planning to make eight types of teachers so yeah, I do hope that you do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm going to give also I'm also planning to make a video about the the timeline that happens uh, the timeline of my my YouTube channel of why is it that it, it came uh, it came out to having many different uh, brands and titles so once again guys that's it and as always uh, I forgot the tug uh, the tagline of my my YouTube channel this is a very important one so the the tagline <laughs> I'm sorry about that guys okay so once again guys this is school career 101 and leaving you with a tagline study work live and thrive